Should Mont Blanc stick to making fans? I was looking at this Meister stick document case at Mont Blanc store and I was really excited when I see the lining looks like leather. I asked the salesperson if it was leather and they said yes. Upon inspecting, I had my doubts on it. I repeated my question five times and they assured me it was 100% leather and they never used PU. I paid $1,800 for this bag. You can clearly see they were inspired by their original Meister stick pen. All the details of the bag reflects that fountain pen's nib throughout the bag. I really like the leather, the shiny calf skin, semi-aniline finish, it says on the description, and it truly feels like it. Craftsmanship is pretty cool. Accessories, uh, zippers, all good. I only have my doubts about the inner lining. So why am I doubtful about the inside lining? It looks like leather, but it doesn't touch or feel like it. Upon my questions, the salesperson insisted that it was real leather, but I don't believe so. And I checked the online description after I purchased the bag and it said coated canvas as the inner lining. Now I'm even more confused. We're gonna see what it really is once we open the bag up.
So the salespeople claimed this was leather, I knew it wasn't, and the website said it was coated canvas. It's not coated canvas either, because coated canvas, as Louis Vuitton uses, is much more durable material. This is straight out GPU material, because coated canvas doesn't rip that easy. So checking on the finish here, it's a semi-aniline uh, finish that shows us the grain. Let's see how much scratching it's... It's actually pretty scratchable as it's not a heavy finish, but not super quick to scratch as well. If you're careful, it's not going to scratch that easily and fairly protective against uh, water and some contaminants. Shouldn't be too difficult to clean unless it's left there for a long time. So we remove the finish as they claim. It's a semi-aniline, a thin layer of protective finish on top that gives that glossy um, blackness to it. It's a very balanced, tasteful finish. Um, that's one of my favorite finishes to be used in fashion. Still preserves the leather characteristics, but it's also protective enough uh, to last a long time. As the ash test result shows, this there is chrome involved in the tanning. Um, the website says this was calf skin chrome tan with semi-aniline finish. The whole description checks out pretty good in my findings. As we initially thought, only the black side, the outside of this bag is leather. Inside lining is PU material. I see about nine square foot of leather being enough for the outer material of this bag. My leather estimate is going to be $50, really good leather choice. It's a very well crafted item, nice accessories, $140 should be enough to cover the hardware and assembly. In total, $190 should be able to give us a bag of this sort. Given my estimate of $190 to make a bag like this, the price tag of $1,800 contains quite a bit of premium. Of course, it's a luxury brand that a lot of people love, especially for their pants. Beautiful leather selection, really good design and craftsmanship. I think it's a bag that will look professional for a really long time. As long as you know the inside is not leather, even though it looks like it, or the salesman may tell you otherwise. As long as you know what you're getting in the inside material, you can decide if it's worth it or not. I opened this bag up pretty carefully so we can put it back together using a real leather lining. I'm thinking a beautiful goat skin lining would complete this bag really good. I love the outside material. So please stay tuned for the follow-up video where we're going to put this back together as the Frankenstein bag 2 project.